Hi, I'm Donna Reesh, Silver Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And this is part three, the final video in my series about doing a vendor event. That is a trade show or some other outwardly sponsored event in which you come in as a Plexus Ambassador and have a booth or share your products. Um, I had the first two videos that I hope you can find uh, on my uh, Plexus, Donna's Plexus Peeps page. And um, I'm sure it's showing up beneath this one in the YouTube feed. But in those two, I, I had, um, I went around my booth and I showed the various aspects of it and the different things that I purchased and the different things that I prepared, the graphics, the documents, and so forth, and um, really just shared about setting up your booth and what to do there. This was my very first trade show. I am a newbie ambassador of uh, just 11 weeks of sharing the product. I was on it for two months prior to that. And, uh, but as far as sharing and selling and having a blog and posting on Facebook and getting ambassadors and customers, I knew at this. And so um, I didn't know what to expect. I watched a lot of YouTube videos in preparation for it and I learned a lot. So I wanted to pass that forward. First of all, um, I guess you would say that my show was not exactly successful in that um, I didn't have a lot of, uh, I didn't get anybody to sign up as a customer or as an ambassador. But I did want to say some of the benefits and also just to talk a little bit about how you can determine whether something is a good fit or not for you uh, to do a vendor event. First of all, the event that I did was an indoor rummage sale. This means that um, people were in there selling children's clothes. It was a mom-to-mom -mom, uh, indoor rummage sale. And so uh, the vendor fee wasn't really too expensive. It was $145 for a 10 by 8 booth. Um, but there, was a, there were some little difficulties in that people were not there looking for health products. And they were not there looking for... Um, retail sales or anything like that. They were there to buy used clothing and toys for children. And so that is something to consider uh, when you do your vendor event. I've heard of people going to ladies events and having a lot of success with those. I've also heard of health fairs and those being very successful. I've heard mixed reviews about uh, bridal shows uh, saying that some people want a quick fix and that sometimes you know health isn't really the priority as much as you know, immediate results as far as being a certain size by a certain date for the wedding or whatever. But that is something to consider in doing a vendor event. That is, what type of event are you doing? How much is your cost to have a booth there? And what type of people are going to be there? I did uh, have my drawing, which did help. I talked about that in the last video. We gave away $20 every hour for people who signed up. So I had these forms and I talked about these in video too and showed them close up in that video. But the, in order to be entered in the drawing to win, potentially win $20 every hour, you had to fill out one of these forms. So even though I didn't get customers and I did not get ambassadors, there were several things that I felt were really good that came out of the event. First of all, I have 25, I believe, names here. And with these names, uh, I have their phone number, their email, their address, and I also had them check um, boxes that were concerning their health. So needing to lose weight, blood sugar problems, toileting problems, insomnia, so forth. I got a list um, somewhere on another YouTube video. Um, but this is available at, at Donna's Plexus Peeps uh, as a document if you want to copy it and use it for your event. At the bottom that I had, I would like to host a sip and see in my home and I would like to know more about the business opportunity. And so by filling this out, I have some people to add to my spreadsheet. That is my, I have an Excel spreadsheet with uh, names, um, email addresses, so forth, inter level of interest, previous correspondences, like they were here, they filled out one of these, um, and also I made notes on these. So some of these say things like, um, bought a seven day sample, some have stars saying that they showed a lot of interest. Uh, they check, The ones that checked the business opportunity, I'm for sure gonna be getting back with them very quickly. Uh, triple star, I think that meant something. <laughs> um, works at the YMCA, just different notes like this. Uh, 
bought a seven day uh, slim pack, used to use Plexus in another state, wants to go back on it, very interested and so forth. So those notes will help me also. So I, I hesitate to say that it was a total loss because I feel like one, the purpose of a vendor event is not to sell. So I did sell $100 worth of slim samples, but the purpose is not to sell. The purpose is to get leads. And so I felt like I did get, get leads there, although I think with a different venue than an indoor rummage sale, maybe I would have had more interest and more leads. I do know that the gal next to us, there were supposed to be 700 attendees, and the gal next to us who had like a quadruple booth, uh, who was garage selling or rummage selling, selling uh, used items, said that last year she made 800 and this year she only made 400. So I think the attendance might have been low as well. But again, my purpose here was, this was one of my purposes. Um, just briefly, I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of the things that I haven't mentioned in the previous ones. First of all, we had shirts and these came from Etsy and I can't remember the store name, but they, they are bright and they did get people's attention. I uh, I love these and I had really great customer service with this shirt. So um, if you see it on there, you can buy one and support her business. Um, but I thought I was ordering a different one and I thought I was ordering one that had something on the front and something on the back. I say that to say that uh, some of the other videos said, you know, when you're busy in your booth and stuff like that, it's good to have something on the front and back that both, both places that say Plexus. So that's something to consider. Um, I did have these with me and um, these are from Manny Graphics. I did not give these out uh, on that day, but I do carry them on my purse all the time. Really good thing about these is that they have the information on the back about Plexus Slim, the ingredients list, the, the carbohydrates, and so forth. And they also have my information. You order them personalized from Nanny Graphic. They're very inexpensive, and this is what I use along with my little bags of seven day slim trials that I pass out. Just a moment, I forgot to get this. I use these little bags to make seven day slim packs. They're just little rice bags from weddings. They're a few cents a piece on Amazon. My business card text in here, and then I also give this. So that way, they are more than likely to keep this because it does have the instructions and the ingredients as opposed to just some other flyer that I might give them. I do pass out flyers whenever possible too, but this I know is going with it and they're going to keep it because I told them this has the ingredients in the back and it tells you how to use your sample. And so I know that they'll keep that. So with my seven days that I sold, I gave these as well. I also used um, without, the, without the sample, the slim on there. So I just use the cards by themselves. They're really great. For a lot of uses actually. Um, I also had these and I talked about these in another video from Nanny Graphics and generally speaking I depending on the level of interest and also if they have any familiarity with Plexus I like to use this one that's Triplex. Um, it has all three products in it and tells the ingredients and what the benefits are of the products and I just find you know that overwhelming them you know we have all of the way 15 products you know this does this this does that this does this and like I mentioned before you have five seconds if they're just coming by 30 seconds if they're signing up um, for the drawing and so forth now I also mentioned about the drawing every hour I drew one for a $20 bill and I only had two people come back and claim the prize because the type of event that it was was such where they came to our building and then they went to another then they went to another and they didn't come back to our building and you needed to come back to see if your name was on the board so uh, that type of drawing um, it saved me some money um, I wasn't trying not to give the $20 bills to people for sure I was you know definitely trying to be honest and upright and we did say come back and if your name is on the board we're drawing every hour you know you you'll have five chances to win and so forth but because they um, they didn't come back around necessarily very much. The $20 bills were not all claimed. So I don't know, I'm still trying to weigh that, see if that's good or bad. I mean, it saved me money, but at the same time, I didn't want to trick them into registering for the drawing. It was a, a bona fide drawing, and I did tell them up front that that was how it was gonna be handled, that you know, I had a whiteboard, come back, see if your name's on the board every hour, I'm giving away a $20 bill. I say that to say that it might go better at an event where people are there all day, because then they'll just swing back by your booth and then you'll have another encounter with them. Um, but not very many people claim their prize the way that I did it. So uh, that's either good or bad. <laughs> and uh, 
with this other flyer, which I really like, it has all the uh, products in it, or and little blips about each one. And this is also from Nanny Graphics. And I did use this some, and I do use this some, and I carry this in my purse also, along with these slim samples and the triplex on my business cards and some seven day samples and so forth. My purse is getting heavier and heavier as time goes on. Um, but this one, I feel like, I can tell a customer quickly at the time that you have in a vendor event. I can tell the, the potential quickly, you know, that this is our triplex, this is our, our signature combo, and I feel like it is a lot quicker, and this is really what you would like to get customers on to begin with anyway, uh, because this will yield the most results for them, you know, right away, and this is just what most people are on, so. And lastly, I have the, uh, I had a, clipboard for my daughter and for myself. She is becoming an ambassador and she was helping me. And this was just for us. I had a lot of literature for them and I talked about that in video one and two. But I did want to say that I needed a clipboard for myself. Now, depending on how far along you are in Plexus, I mean, I can't even remember how much Slim cost. I mean, I'm just that new. So I had uh, a, a clipboard here for us. I had the small clipboards for people to register, but then I had the large ones for, uh, one for me and one for my daughter. And on these clipboards, I put the things that I thought I might need. Granted, these things are all in my phone, so it's not like, you know, I can't get to them other places, but um, I'm a writer and I like to have paper copies of everything. So, so I had the, um, the product list and price sheet for both of us. Uh, the compensation plan. This is also the same clipboard that I take to my sip and seize. So I have a file, but I just find that I'm taking too much stuff everywhere I go. So this, uh, the compensation plan. These two graphics that illustrate how to become a preferred customer, as well as how to sign up an ambassador. I need these in front of me every time I help somebody. So um, I'm not the most tech savvy girl in the world. Uh, and then there are just a few other things. Uh, the three prices of the tri of this triplex. Uh, the um, that's another uh, uh, price sheet. Yeah, that's another price sheet. The 60-day money-back guarantee. If you get far enough to explain to an, an, an ambassador, you know, which I don't recommend this at first, but um, I do like to have, and I have this on my phone also, just the bonuses for the preferred customers. If you get far enough to talk about the business opportunity and they want to know about the incomes. Um, for somebody who is trying to decide whether to become a preferred customer or an ambassador, showing them something like this that shows that if you buy your product um, as an ambassador, you know, what you can make, if you sell three, what you can make, when you can pay for your own. This is really good for people who say, well, I would like to become an ambassador and make enough to pay for my own. So something like this. This is just a graphic that's floating around that tells um, the amount that you pocket if you sell three as an ambassador. Uh, three triplexes and so forth and then the ingredient list and I did give a couple of these away um, I, I keep these in my file and I keep these also at the at my booth at the vendor event with all the ingredients this is also available at Donna's Plexus Peeps in the document section too so anyway that just sums up my first vendor event I did follow up with the sip and see and um, I, the problem with the sip and see is I, the videos I watched, they said, you know, have an opportunity meeting or a sip and see, you know, a few days later, not too far out after the event. I planned mine too close to the event, and so nobody received my postcards in time, in spite of me hand delivering them to the post office and thinking that they get them the next day, and here they got them three days later. So my sip and see wasn't very uh, successful either. Um, but after the fact, once they received their cards, I have received three text messages from people saying, I would have liked to have come, you know, will you be doing another one? And then I also have all of these people, these were the ones I sent the postcards to. Um, and I also have all of these to follow up in other ways too, based on what I wrote on their sheets and also what they wrote on their sheets. So I have a lot of possibilities. I have a lot of uh, leads and a lot of uh, ways to go from this um, that I can be very busy and uh, potentially um, get some more customers because if they cared enough to write something on there about wanting 
to host a sip and see or about wanting to know more about the business or if they verbalize something you know like I really could use this stuff or whatever those are all indicators for me you know that they are good leads they're not just here to try to get the $20 bill so um, anyway that's all I have on uh, vendor uh,